Hi, it's Miss Lisa from the St. Paris Public Library. Welcome back to our uh, Summer Reading 2022 cooking class online. I hope you've been enjoying um, the different recipes that we've been trying over the summer, and I hope that you found some uh, new things that you're gonna cook for your family. Today is our last um, cooking class, and we're gonna make charcuterie boys, boards. Um, really, the key to a charcuterie board is that you pick foods that your family likes. And the easiest way to do that is to pick three fruits, three vegetables, meat and cheese, and condiments, like pickles and olives and things like that. Um, the easiest way to do it is if you do it that way, three and three, and then add your other stuff in there. So for us, we like peaches, strawberries, and grapes. So those are my three, my three fruits that I'm gonna put on my charcuterie board. The other is vegetables. So I have cucumber, tomatoes, and peppers. I have a yellow, and a red, which looks orange, but it's red, and an orange one. So these are my three vegetables, cucumber, peppers, and tomatoes. Now my condiments, we, I can eat any condiment there is about, except for anchovy stuff. So I have black olives, and I have green olives, and I have dill pickles. I have bread and butter pickles, so those are my condiment things that I'm going to put on my charcuterie board. Now remember that if you keep in mind that this is not a buffet and that it's like a sample board, so you need to have at least like maybe two to three items of each thing for per person. So if you have a family of four, you're gonna to wanna to put enough servings of your pickles or condiments on there for everybody to have at least a couple uh, little nibbles off of each thing so that everybody gets something from all of it. Okay, I'm gonna stand up and reach my, my, my cheese. I have cheese cubes. I decided to get cheese cubes instead of the sliced cheese only because it will be me eating it because my husband won't eat this cheese. But um, so I got cube cheese and it's already pre done so you don't have to slice it, you just put it on there. We don't really eat a whole lot of meat at the house so. My husband will eat turkey lunch meat, so I got some turkey, a double, it's like a twin pack, one side's turkey, one side's ham. So um, we can put that on there and that should be enough. Now listen, if your family loves meat and you wanna make the whole thing meat <laughs> and cheese, you can do that. Um, but we just don't eat that much so of it, so we're not gonna add a whole lot on there. Um, I have two different dips. I have some spreadable cream cheese, hold on a minute. <coughs> spreadable cream cheese, and I have a honey mustard that I'm gonna use for dipping, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is talk about the board. Now that we have all of our food, and you know what I'm gonna put on mine, you will have pretty much all of this stuff in your uh, bags of goodies that you pick up at the library to prepare this um, uh, dish for your family. I recommend that you allow your children to participate in this activity, okay? Because we need to haul the strawberries and we need to wash the fruit and, and cut things and empty things out and arrange it. If you are at a campground and you don't wanna use a board, use some wax paper, put out a big piece of wax paper on your table and make your charcuterie right on the table, right on the picnic table. The kids will love it. They will think that that's awesome that they're eating off of the table and not off a thing. Um, I'm actually gonna put mine on this cutting board right here, um, only because I don't, have a, I don't have a wooden cutting board. I have this white one. So I'm just gonna put it right on this um, cutting board. One of the things I do wanna say about the um, items that you put on here, paper towels, okay? You don't wanna put something that's got a lot of liquid on the thing and it's gonna run into everything else because if you do that, when you put your crackers on the board, 
all the juices will run into your crackers and you have this yucky, soggy cracker thing, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're drying off all the food and we can do that with the um, paper towels, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my crackers out because they take, pretty much take up most of the space and we're gonna be working around them. But we wanna be able to get to the crackers so that they, um, so they need to be out in the middle part or on the sides so that they are we have pretty good access to the crackers um, you can use whatever crackers you want to use you can lay them out in a in a little fan or whatever I'm gonna stack mine on the side only because I want to have easy access and I want to make sure that none of my other stuff runs into my crackers I don't want a juicy soggy cracker on the side. So I'm just going to put a couple stacks on either side of these uh, Ritz crackers is what I got. And we also like club crackers. So I'm just going to open a club cracker. Listen, I'm going to have extra crackers. So if there's not enough and we eat them all, then I'll just open another pack of crackers and add it to the board. All right. So I'm going to add the club crackers and I'm going to put them on both sides. So I put my crackers. You can't really see because I have stuff in the way. Hold on a minute. All right, so I have my crackers positioned. Hold on, I don't want my strawberries to fall off. Let's scoop this up here. I have my crackers on the sides. So I have my Ritz crackers right here and I put my club crackers right here. I want them to be kind of uniform so that it's pretty because it's about present presentation of your sampler board because that's really what it is. It's just a sampler of food, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and prepare my fruits and vegetables and add them to the board as I go. So I'm gonna turn off the talking and turn on the action. And um, I'll, I'll start talking to you when I get some stuff prepared. grapes I have strawberries and peaches so now I'm gonna work on my vegetables
board is really full. I don't know if I could get all that on there. I have the last thing to put on there are my sweet pickles. <clears throat> now I bought stuff in these pre-packaged containers because then you can take them. They're all ready to go. You don't open a whole can of olives and only eat half of them. You're pretty much just pretty well set with what you have. You can just put a little bit on each thing. Like I said, they're just sample trays. Just remember to dry off all as much of your food as you can. Get it dry so that it's not leaching into the crackers, making everything soggy or making everything taste like dill pickles. <laughs> because that will happen too. Uh, let's put these right here. So I don't know if you can see that, but that is absolutely beautiful. That turned out really well. And like I said, use items that your family likes to eat. So if you like dill pickles and you don't like sweet pickles, then don't put sweet pickles on there. Pick lots of different things. I love pickled beets. If it was up to me, I'd have pickled beets on there, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit anything else on there. So I hope that you have enjoyed all the cooking shows and I hope that you enjoy the bags that you can make your charcuterie board boards in. And remember to always try new recipes and always try new things. And if you have any suggestions for a cooking class, shoot me an email at the library. It's L, it's L. Crutchfield at stparislibrary.org or write me a note, send me a note, let me know how you like the cooking class or if you see me running around this summer, let me know that you're enjoying the classes and maybe we'll do a cooking class in the fall. So have a great summer and enjoy your, um, the rest of your summer.